Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases, like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase your longevity products off our website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team at pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business or thank you checks associated with helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you have benefited from nutritional supplementation, don't hold back. Share. Spread the word. Help other folks. Not just to make money, but just to help people. Nutritional supplementation is a powerful, powerful healing modality. As anyone who has benefited from the longevity products or nutritional supplementation can tell you, you can get off your medicine with nutritional supplements. You can lose weight with nutritional supplements. You can feel better with nutritional supplements. There's a whole slew of health benefits that you can get with a good nutritional supplement program. And that's what we're, we are all about at Longevity. If you want to learn more, head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or Critical Health News. Com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Also, would like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com, our retinol 5% gel, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine, or our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Never Any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products. You can find out all about them, including our truth blemish repair complex made with N-acetylcysteine, vitamin E, selenium, all very important for the skin as well as for the liver and various other organs in the body. You can find out all about our truth skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. I know this is a nutritional supplement program. I like talking about nutritional supplements. I've personally benefited in my life by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, which I started mm, probably 35 years ago when I was lifting weights and doing my bodybuilder kinds of things back in my 20s. I discovered how important and how powerful nutritional supplementation can be. And I know... I 
I know from experience how powerful a program can be because I've seen patients turn their lives around by getting on the longevity products, by getting on nutritional supplementation. But it's not just about supplements. It's not just about nutrition when it comes to health. And this is what we've been talking about now for oh, probably the last four or five weeks, the vibrational nature of health, the vibrational relationship to uh, of, the, of health to the body, uh, the vibrational relationship of the body to health or the lack thereof. Vibration, good vibration is good health. And while that may sound less than a bit about biophysics, biological physics, it makes perfect sense. We live in a reality and a universe of vibrations and waves and fields and information and electrical energy. And this fundamental nature of reality and this fundamental nature of the body has to be grasped if we are going to truly leverage our God-given right to good health, our God-given right to not having cancer, our God-given right to living to 120 or 130 years. And this is where thoughts and emotions and spirituality enter into the healing picture. I'm all about nutrition. I'm all about diet. But good health is much more than good nutrition. Good health is much more than eating correctly. This is where thoughts and emotions and spirituality come in. And thoughts and emotions and spirituality are the quintessential examples of vibration. That's what they are. And that's why they don't seem like they're really tangible because they're not. Vibrations aren't things. Vibrations aren't tangible. Vibrations are movements. And this is why it seems so airy-fairy, and this is why doctors can't really grasp, get, get a handle on why vibration is so important for health. If our vibrations, that is our electromagnetics, are off, if we're generating incoherent vibrations or, quote, bad vibes, unquote, we are not going to be maximally healthy, period. A simple example, if you just want to take a simple example of how vibration affects health, think about the, uh, think about or even do some research on the vibrational aspect of water. Our body is two-thirds water, right? 60-70% water. And water is extremely sensitive to vibration and the byproduct of vibration, which we called information. Information is vibration information. Vibration in a form. That's what information is. It's vibration in a form. In formation. And if you think this is new age gobbledygook, just research the Aerospace Institute of Stuttgart, Germany, where they've actually photographed the information that's retained in water. Do a YouTube search for uh, water has a memory or memory, uh, water memory water memory and aerospace institute of stuttgart germany and you'll see some really cool videos and highly magnified pictures of water droplets that have been exposed to various vibrations in one experiment that i was watching this morning actually they uh, took a, they got a bunch of students and they gave them some, a, a bucket of water all the students had one big bucket of water to work with in other words the same water and uh, the students were told to make a series of water droplets and the water droplets were then analyzed under magnification and as it turned out the water droplets that were produced by the same student were all very similar but the water droplets that were produced by different students had a completely different vibrational pattern in other words while each individual produced similar water droplets when they compared them to themselves when they compared it to each other to other students the water droplets were all different even though it was the same water Google Air, uh, Aerospace Institute of Stuttgart, Germany. Water has a memory. You'll get all. Uh, you, you'll get uh, a, a short, maybe three or four minute video that explains this experiment. Now, if we're two thirds water, sixty to seventy percent water, somewhere in there, and water is affected by vibration. Uh, water is affected by, by vibration, and in addition to being uh, two thirds water, we're vibrational beings. We're constantly streaming out vibrations with our thoughts and feelings, and as well as chemicals. Nutrition, as we said yesterday, works with vibration. Pollution, toxicity is vibration. We're, we're vibrational beings any way you look at it. And if water is affected by, by, by vibration, it becomes pretty obvious that thoughts and feelings and chemicals are all going to have a significant impact on the way we vibrate and ultimately on our health. If we're not healthy, we're not vibrationally healthy. It's as simple as that. And yesterday we talked about ways to reestablish or reorganize correct 
uh, or chaotic vibrations, to correct chaotic vibrations in the body, to give ourselves a tune-up. We'll, uh, we'll review that here when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Got lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have a bunch of open lines for you. If you're on hold, we'll get your call here in our next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you want to learn how to leverage vibration, we'll talk here in a minute about ways to reorganize chaotic vibration in the body. If you have questions about the longevity products, questions about our true skin health products, or if you just have a comment or success story like to share 844 236 6010 is our number if you're listening to this program haven't you been blessed with the intelligence to want to make your life better haven't you been blessed with the uh, with the wherewithal with the uh, with the, the the concept that we can make our lives better using things like nutritional supplementation using things like vibrational therapy give yourself some credit if you're listening to this program if you're one of the rare people listening to this program we don't have a whole bunch of listeners to the bright side but we've got a lot of smart listeners if you feel like you've been blessed with this kind of this kind of knowledge that there are ways that we can control our health and control can control our lives independent of the medical model, don't you want to share it with people? Don't you want to help spread the word and make some money at the same time? If this sounds interesting to you, please check out our Longevity products and Longevity business at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You'll find all the Longevity products, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee from brightsideben.com, off of, off of our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're two-thirds water. Water is clearly affected by, by vibration. There's a Japanese um, researcher, Dr. Masiru Omoto, who uh, pioneered the, uh, uh, the science of the effect of information and vibration on water. The Aerospace Institute at Stuttgart, Germany has a great YouTube video where they talk about an experiment where they uh, actually have photographed photographic evidence of the impact of vibration on water. We are two-thirds water. We are also vibrational beings. That just makes perfect sense that incoherent or chaotic vibrations in the body are ultimately going to affect the structure of the body, how the body shows up. If you want to give yourself a tune-up, there's four main ways, probably more, but I came up with four main ways of reestablishing or reorganizing chaotic vibration. Number one, stress. Yes, stress can help reestablish good vibration, but it has to be correct stress or as it is called, U-stress, E-U, U-stress, good stress. Good stress is a type of uh, uh, resistance, if you will, that occurs when we exercise. Actually, when we exercise periodically, intermittent exercise, remember the body likes bursts. It doesn't like long-term, chronic, low-level stress. It likes bursts of intense stress followed by rest and relaxation. And by the way, one of the most effective ways to rest and relax is something called meditation. I know I talk about this all the time. I've been meditating myself for now 30 years. It is an amazing, absolutely critical way, that, uh, strategy for uh, reestablishing correct vibration. It doesn't have to be spiritual. Certainly it can be spiritual, but it doesn't have to be spiritual. There are There is secular vibration. You don't have to have anything to do with Buddha or religion or, or uh, anything spiritual at all. It could just be to relax the body. You can actually feel a vibrational reset after a good meditation session. And you can do a good meditation session in 60 seconds. You don't need to sit on the, on the meditation cushion for hours, although you know, a lot of people do that, of course. You can get a good meditation session in two minutes, one or two minutes. And once you get proficient at meditation, you're probably going to want to do more because it feels so good. Meditation feels awesome. Ask anybody who meditates. They'll tell you. It feels unbelievable. Good meditation session is like the best nap you've ever had, except unlike a nap, you don't wake up groggy. You take a nap, especially if it's, you get into a real deep sleep, you're going to wake up a little bit groggy. But when you meditate for even three or four or five minutes, it's just like a nap, except instead of waking up groggy, you wake up energized. 
And guess what? With a good meditation, pain and suffering can be reduced. And you know, you'll know you've had a good meditation session because your pain and suffering, if you have pain and suffering, are going to be reduced. Pain, which is a short-term phenomena, and suffering, which is like a long-term kind of pain, if you will. Suffering is long-term. Pain is short-term. Are both the results of incoherent vibrations. And most of the time, we avoid, understandably, we avoid pain and suffering. And while this may be a good strategy for keeping us from being aware, the incoherent vibrations are still there. We may not be aware of them, but the incoherent vibrations are still there and they're going to lead to further problems. So just because we avoid pain and suffering doesn't mean that the incoherent vibrations underneath them have gone away. They're still there. And even though they're repressed, they still have an impact on our biochemistry. On the other hand, when we focus on pain and focus on suffering, when we focus on these sensations rather than running away from them or avoiding them, when we inquire about the experience of pain and suffering, when we examine and experience pain and suffering fully, something very interesting happens. When we inquire and examine and contemplate on pain and suffering in a meditation session, guess what? Pain and suffering will actually begin to soften. Eventually, they'll actually begin to disappear. The softening and the disappearance of pain and suffering is the end result of establishing coherent vibrations. And it is the great reward that we can get from the incredible and really extraordinary exercise of facing our suffering and our pain. Nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to have pain. But when we actually face them head on, in other words, the way out of them is through them, when we face them head on instead of running away from them, they actually begin to mitigate and they actually begin to get reduced. And we can actually eliminate pain and suffering by facing them head on. Two, correct breathing. And by correct breathing, I'm talking rhythmic breathing. And by rhythmic bre uh, correct breathing, I'm talking about rhythmic slow breathing, which has an entrainment effect on our vibrations and also activates the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is our rest and relaxation nerve. Correct breathing calms down the chaos. Yesterday, we talked about heart-focused breathing, which is a heart math uh, exercise. Heart-focused breathing is when you literally breathe, or at least uh, you imagine breathing into the, into the uh, heart, into the chest area. Correct thoughts and emotions, thinking positive experiences. That will also reestablish correct vibrations, feeling uh, what it feels like to have a positive experience. If you have, if you're in any kind of suffering mode, just by thinking a about a positive experience, or better, feeling a positive experience. Feelings are more fundamental than thoughts. Feeling a positive experience, you will begin to uh, re-equilibrate reestablish coher uh, coherent vibration in the body and you will feel it and you will know it. You'll know it by feeling better. You'll know it by a reduction in your pain and your suffering. And finally, correct eating and correct nutrition. Yesterday we said nutritional supplements act as little ferries to facilitate, little energy ferries to facilitate organized vibration. The classic man manifestation of vibration in the body is electricity. Electricity is the end result of vibrations that occur at the tiniest levels. The, uh, the quantum levels, electrons and atoms. And electrons, by the way, and atoms are just vibration. They're not things. Electrons and atoms don't even exist, really. They're, they're verbs. They're processes. They're actions. They're movements. They're vibrations. An atom is not a solid object. This is the great mystery of quantum physics that nobody can figure out. How can an atom and, and the subatomic particles called electrons be vibrations? They're not things. That means there's no things in reality because everything's made up of these vibrations. Everything is in process. Everything is vibration. We can channel these vibrations into what we call electricity, and this has a huge impact on our world, obviously, and on our bodies as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, you might want to give us a shout at 844-236-6010. Uh, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. And you might also, if you're dealing with a health challenge, want to check out our longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. I know I say this all the time. 
I say it three or four times a day. The Longevity products can change your life. Nutritional supplementation can change your life, particularly if you're on prescription drugs or if you're dealing with some kind of health challenge. A good nutritional supplement program is the basics. It is the fundamental. Every time we say this, every time I say this on, this, on the program, I hope it gets, gets into your brains deeper and deeper and deeper. Get on a nutritional supplement program. You will change your life. And we make it so easy. Just the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You don't need you don't need the whole Healthy Star Pack. I recommend the Healthy Star Pack, but just try the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's 50 or 60 bucks a month. It can change your life, especially if you have never been on a nutritional supplement program, especially if your body is completely devoid of nutrients, which is what's going to happen if you're living the standard American lifestyle, eating the standard American diet, and you're not on a supplement program. And one of the neatest things about the body is the more nutritionally deficient we are, the faster the body absorbs the nutrients, which is why you can change your life with something as simple as the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You can find out all about it at BrightSideBend.com, PharmacistBend.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Isn't, isn't this exciting? Don't you get excited about the idea, about these ideas that we're talking about? Not just the idea of nutritional supplementation, but the ideas of reestablishing, re-equilibrating incoherent vibrations. If you're sick, this could be the best news you've ever heard. If you have a loved one who's sick or dealing with a health challenge, this could be the loved, uh, this could be the, the, uh, the best news you've ever heard for your loved one. Don't you get excited by these ideas? I do. All right, 844 is our number. Hang tight. We'll get your calls here in just a second. And we do have lines open for you. From the University of Washington, speaking of vibrations, from the University of Washington, new technique allows scientists to read minds at nearly the speed of thought. Using brain implants and sophisticated software, researchers can now predict what people are seeing and thinking with startling speed and accuracy. And this is from a paper that's published in the Public Library of Science, Computational Biology. How is it this is done? Vibrations. It turns out that different thoughts have different vibrations. And by linking and by uh, cataloging the relationship between vibrations and thoughts, scientists can actually check out vibrations and link them to specific thoughts that you're thinking. And this is not science fiction, folks. This was actually proven, uh, uh, this is research that was actually shown, uh, proven by the University of Washington, at the University of Washington, by a neuroscientist, Rajesh Rao, and neurosurgeon Jeff Ogerman, who demonstrated that it's possible to decode brain vibrations at nearly the speed of, vibra uh, speed of perception. That's amazing just shows you how critical and how fundamental the vibrational nature of how we are, our, the vibrational nature of our beingness, how we can manipulate it and how we can use it and how effective it can be for things like mind reading, not to mention good health and longevity. All right, one more here and then we'll get to your calls. This is from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Eating protein three times a day could make our seniors stronger. This is so important because when we think of protein and for that matter, when we think of exercise, weightlifting, resistance training, we think of young Young folks, we think of people in their prime, but as it turns out, resistance training, eating more protein, nutritional supplementation help older folks, help seniors. Even more, even it's even more important, in my opinion, for seniors than it is for young folks. Young folks are already dealing with powerful or relatively strong bodies, but as we get older and our bodies become more frail, it becomes extra important that we nutrient correctly, that we leverage exercise, leverage nutrition, uh, nutritional supplementation, particularly with protein. Uh, this is from, uh, from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. According to Dr. Stephanie Chevalier, the, a scientist at the, uh, with the Metabolic Disorders and Complications, Complications Program at McGill University in Canada, quote, many seniors, especially in North America, consume the majority of their daily protein intake at lunch or dinner. We wanted to see if people who added protein sources at breakfast and therefore had balanced protein intake through, three, uh, through the three meals had greater muscle strength, and guess what? They did. Protein three times a day. And if you're a, a breakfast eater, I, I personally recommend not eating breakfast. But if you are a breakfast eater, just do protein. Lay off the potatoes. Lay off the toast. Just have the eggs. In fact, one of the best breakfasts you could possibly do is fish. Sushi. Raw fish. Yeah, I know there's problems associated with fish because of the oceans. But a couple of, a couple of pieces of sushi are incredibly filling. It's almost pure protein with, with some good fats in there as well. And uh, it can also help you if you're dealing with frailty, if you're a senior citizen and dealing with frailty can also help you build connective tissue, build muscle, build bone. And it's also a great way to lose weight on top of all of that. 
All right. Uh, well, we'll take your phone calls. We got a couple lines open, 844-236. Well, I'm going to read one more here, and then we'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. This is from the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. As expected, an expert consensus group from the American College of Cardiology has updated its guidelines to boost something called PCSK9 inhibitors as secondary prevention for heart disease. What is a PCSK9 inhibitor? It's a new, a new non-statin drug for lowering cholesterol. It came out a couple years ago, actually. It's an injectable drug, a drug that you inject to help lower your cholesterol, supposedly to improve heart health. Bull crap, baloney, horse hockey, nonsense. Number one, you can't take a drug and be better off for it. Period, end of story. And any boneheaded medical professional who tells you different should go back to biochemistry 101. You can't get healthier by taking a drug. Number two, this idiocy with a capital I of lowering cholesterol levels artificially, pharmacologically by poisoning the, the cells that make cholesterol to make your heart healthy is just utter nonsense. The cholesterol theory is stupidity with a capital S, the cholesterol theory of heart disease. And I don't care what the American College of Cardiology says or the American Medical Association or any boneheaded medical professional. You want to lower your cholesterol, use niacin. You want to lower your cholesterol, reduce your sugar and reduce your insulin. Yesterday we talked about the relationship between diabetes and heart disease, it is clear and definitive. If you want to protect your heart, you want to uh, uh, reduce the likelihood of having a heart attack or have heart disease, take care of your blood sugar and take care of your insulin. Point number two on our triangle of disease. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's say good morning to Mary in Michigan. How are you doing, Mary? Welcome to The Bright Side. Thank you so much. Um, I am... <laughs> I am confused as I can be about pH okay. and what it should read. Understandably. Uh, I, everything, I'm, I'm reading conflicting things, and it's, I, I can't. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about pH. All right. Well, first of all, what do you, tell me what you're reading that's conflicting, or where your confusion is, and then I'll, uh, I'll tell got, you all about I've pH. I've got a couple of, of, um, of, uh, of books. Um, one is um, uh, Wellness Secrets for Life. Uh, well, tell me how you're confused, real, because I'm going to run out of time. I, I don't. I want to answer your question fully. Tell well, me where your confusion they're, is. They're saying that your morning pH. Some of them are saying it should be at least seven, and other ones are saying if it's seven, you're going to be sick. Okay. You know, Let's talk about pH. We'll talk. Okay. We'll talk about pH. And we're, we'll. T uh, I'll discuss it completely when we come back from our break. But just so you know, the pH of the body is regulated by what you breathe, by breathing. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are the main ways we regulate pH of the blood. pH of the blood is tightly regulated, and uh, we'll finish up when we come back. So hang tight, Mary. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Hi. Hey, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about uh, anything we're speaking about here today or the longevity products, success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Mary in Michigan about pH. Uh, a little confusion about pH, understandably so. It's kind of a confusing subject. So, uh, Mary, are you there? Yes. All right, let me give you just a quick a quick synopsis on what pH is about, and then we'll talk about how you measure it and its relevance to good health and how you can take care of your body by working with pH. So uh, the pH scale is a measurement of how acid or non-acid something is. Non-acid is called alkaline. So how acid or how alkaline something is, and it's, it's measured on a scale that runs from 0 to 14, 0 being incredibly acidic and 14 being incredibly non-acidic or incredibly alkaline. Alkaline. Life in the body, or the, the, the life of the body, depends on pH being within a very, very, very tight window. And that is, when I say of the body, I mean of the blood. The pH of the blood is tight. It's kept at, at 7.38. Not just seven, not just 7.3, but 7.38. That's to one hundredth uh, or 
one one hundredth of a uh, 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 to a hundredth place, 0 0.01. So at, if it's 7.37, you're going to be sick. If it's 7.39, you're going to feel sick. So it has to be at 7.38. Does that make sense? That's super, yeah. super tight. All right. Now, there's no pH meters that can get you, or there's no pH paper, I should say, that can get you that close. But if you take your pH in the morning with your urine, you're going to see something like maybe seven-ish, something in that in that range if you're healthy. And that's where you want to be. Say 6.5 to 7.5, right in that range. So it's a little bit over neutral. Neutral is considered seven, slightly. Now, if you're a little bit lower, 6.7, 6.8, it's not the end of the world. What you want to be careful of is your pH running too acidic. Uh, a byproduct of toxicity, a byproduct of dying cells is acid. So when your body, uh, when your blood is acidic, that says that you've got toxicity and you've got dying cells. If you were to take the pH of people in a hospital, uh, the blood pH of people in hospitals, you would find that it was consistently in the sixes or even lower sometimes. Carbon dioxide, that is the stuff we blow out, the stuff we exhale, is acidic. And this is the main way that the body gets rid of acid. It's by blowing out carbon dioxide, by exhaling. The, w the main way the body becomes uh, alkaline is by oxygenating. So inhalation of oxygen will make the body alkaline. Exhalation of carbon dioxide will drop acid levels, will decrease acid levels. This is why breathing is so important. And any Anybody who ever tells you that you can change your pH by drinking a type of water is a bonehead, a biochemical bonehead. You can't change your blood pH by drinking a type of alkaline water. Likewise with food, although certain foods will have minerals, and minerals tend to have an alkalinizing effect, and this is where the whole idea of foods and pH come in, but very little, a very minor effect on pH by what you eat and by what you drink. The main way to affect pH is by eliminating toxicity, and of course, it's not just exhaling that eliminates toxicity, not eating sugar is another great way to keep your pH where it needs to be. Sugar is very acidic. Anything toxic that we eat is going to be acidic. So while you're not necessarily going to change your, uh, raise your pH by foods, by not eating toxic foods, you can help the body maintain a correct pH. So it's not like you can drink a special water or eat a certain food to raise your pH, but by eliminating toxicity in foods, you can keep your pH stable. The best way to lower your pH or to uh, uh, keep your pH alkaline around 7.38, as I said, is to make sure you're breathing correctly and make sure you're eliminating anything that increases a toxic load on the body. That's how you do it. As far as morning pH goes, keep it around 7 if you're a little bit under 7 because the specificity of these pH papers is not that accurate. If it reads 6.8 or 6.5 or something, you're probably close enough. What you want to be very careful of or be, be uh, oh, you know, aware of is if your pH really drops low, like in the below 6, that's when you're going to run into a problem and that means that you're sick. That means that there's something going on in the body that's increasing toxicity. It's the best way to take care of that, stay off of toxic foods, correct digestive problems, lay off of sugar, make sure you're breathing correctly. I call that the triangle of disease. That's really what it's about. And by the way, pH is about electricity. When something is alkaline, it has a negative voltage. So a high, the reason a 7.38 is so important is because your blood is like a vacuum cleaner sucking up energy. The reason a high, P, a, a, a high acid level is so toxic is because you're spewing out electrical energy rather than sucking it up. So you can think of alkaline pH or a higher pH as an electricity vacuum cleaner, and you can think of an acid pH or a low pH as, a, uh, as an electricity fountain. You want an electricity vacuum cleaner in the blood so you can suck up energy, not an electricity vac uh, a fountain spewing out electrical energy. Does that make sense? Did I explain that okay? Yeah, it does, but calcium plays a big role in all that too, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but not by Is eating that calcium. That buffers it? Absolutely. Calcium is the is one of the main buffering elements, but it's in your bones. The calcium has to be in your bones before it can have a buffering effect. Or it has oh, to be you in your... You can't just take a calcium supplement and that... I mean, eventually... Keep it, keep it from taking it from your bones. <laughs> eventually, yes. Over the long term, that's important. Dietary calcium is important. But not. it's not like you can take a calcium pill and that will automatically raise your pH. You follow me? The calcium has to be digested. It has to be assimilated. It has to be incorporated into the bone. And then it can get, uh, it, it can get used as a buffering element. But it's not like you can take a calcium pill and all of a sudden your pH will go up. 
You follow? And it has to be part of the body. So nutrition is important. I'm not saying nutrition is not important, but the idea that you can just take calcium and all of a sudden your blood, your, your, uh, uh, blood will go alkaline, that's not true. But yes, calcium is very important. All, new, well, all I, elements are important. I was, I was, what I've been reading is, has sort of been in, in, indicating that uh, your pH is, is an indicator as to your mineral, um, uh, you know, the, your, no. your mineral supply. You, no, that's silly. That's absolute silliness. Yes, it's true that if you're deficient in minerals, you're going to, not going to be healthy, but you can't use your pH as an indicator of, of how much minerals you have in your system. Your body is loaded with calcium. When we talk about adding calcium to uh, making sure you have enough calcium, we're talking about topping off your tank. We're not talking about having no calcium. Your bones are largely made up of calcium, just your bones. And then you have calcium in your blood as well. So it's not like you have zero calcium. We're talking right. about having, a, you know, you're always going to have enough calcium to buffer. It's not like you're going to be missing calcium and you're not going to be able to buffer. You just won't be maximally healthy with a, without enough calcium. Nobody has you're zero calcium constant. in their body. You can't exist without it. Go ahead. You're going to be constantly draining your bones, though, if, if you don't. No. Listen, Mary, listen to what I'm saying, okay? You always have calcium in your body. You're just not ha you just might not have enough. You might ju just might not have your tank topped off fully. You always have calcium in the bones. You can't have bones without calcium. So you're always going to have calcium. You just might not have enough. Well, that's what so I'm it, saying. That's, that's, that's the form of osteoporosis, isn't it? I mean, is you haven't got enough? No. No, no. Osteoporosis is a deterioration of the body secondary to protein. The bones are made up of protein. Calcium just hardens them. Nobody has a a, enough of a calcium deficiency to cause your bones to dissolve in osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a degeneration of the body that follows toxicity, stress, sugar, and usually digestive impairment keeping you from absorbing nutrients. It's not like you can be that deficient in calcium. That's why people don't get their osteoporosis. You ever hear somebody uh, somebody's osteoporosis disappearing when they started a calcium supplement? It doesn't happen. Oh no. Now, I'm not saying calcium's not important. Now, don't okay. don't misunderstand me. I'm, I'm not saying calcium's not important. It is, but it's not like it's a cure for osteoporosis because if it was, we wouldn't have any osteoporosis because we get all kinds of calcium in this country through dairy. So there's okay. much more than calcium. Osteoporosis is deterioration of the bone, just like any disease is deterioration of tissue. This is how we break down as our body de deteriorates, it degenerates. It's not like the bones are some kind of special magical tissue and you take calcium and all of a sudden your bones are stronger. When your bones are deteriorating, i.e. you have osteoporosis, softening of the bones, unless you have a major vitamin D deficiency, causing rickets or some kind of disease, for the most part, when we have deterioration of the tissue of the bones, we have a general degeneration of the body. General de degeneration, and it means that the body, the entire body, is degenerating. Which means, and this is this is the most important idea that I can tell you, Mary. And I say this all the time, but it's so important. I'm going to say it again. Forget about your diagnosis. It doesn't matter. What you want to focus on is general degeneration of the body. How do you restore the body back to its regenerative state? Not with a calcium supplement, but with with an overall nutritional supplement program. The Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, quality protein, quality fats, reducing your, your sugar load, reducing toxicity, relaxing the body, the triangle of disease, exercise. It's not like you take a magical pill and all of a sudden your osteoporosis goes away. I'm sorry, Mary, we're just out of time. I hope I, I hope I didn't confuse you at all. All right, thanks for your call. And I'm sorry if we left you on hold, but that was a very important, uh, very important question. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Check out our website. Sites, brightsideben.com for more information about the longevity products. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.